Alright guys, welcome back to another Warframe video, and this time I'm going to be covering the 6 new Aura Mods. That is from Silver Grove Quest. Those 6 Aura Mods that drop from 3 Spectres in particular. Now the question is, are they worth getting? Is it worth the time to farm these mods? Well, in order to get these mods, you gotta know which Spectre drops them, how to go about it and so on so I'm just gonna take you on this little tour and basically research it now you can scan these specters so once you scan them you could get their info know where they know what they drop okay so I'm just gonna go to the codex here and just show you guys what you need to do in order to acquire these mods and are they worth getting and their abilities and so on so Let's just go over to the Oroken side. Now, as we all know, we all confronted this Knave Spectre Loki. This Loki drops Pistol Lamp, and he also drops the Growing Power, Rare Mod. We already know about Crimson Dervish and Blind Justice. It's those two mods. Growing Power, Pistol Lamp. He drops those. On to the next one. After you deal with Loki, you also got to deal with Saren, Orphid Spectre. Okay? She drops Brief Respite, Stand United. I actually like that name so much. Every time I say it, it's awesome. Stand United. I, I just like that name. But she drops those. Okay? And last but not least, we have the Fed Chart Spectre of Oberon. He drops the Shotgun Amp and the Empowered Blades. Those are the six Aura Mods that are available after you do the... The... The Silver Grove quest. After you finish the quest, you could go back in there, farm them, trying to get those mods, and so on. Now, once you have either the Night, the Pothic, Twilight, or the Sunrise, you could farm those specters, go after the mods. Now, now we get into the meat of it now with these mods, what they do, how to use them, so on and so forth. Now, the first one I'm going to be talking about is Growing Power. Now, Growing Power, status proc increase power strength by 25%. So, anytime you land a status proc on an enemy, this kicks in. You got 6 seconds and your power strength gets increased by 25%. So, if your power strength is like really good, slap on this 25% on you, you're good. And since this is an aura mod, everyone gets benefited from this. When you stack this, you could get 100% power strength on your abilities. You just start using your abilities, start killing shit. It's awesome. So, as far as with this mod, it's really good. I actually like this mod. I have it on my Saren. She's just raining havoc. And it's good to have it on Saren because her status effect passive you know it lasts longer all that stuff but that passive doesn't go with the growing power it has its own thing where once you inflict status on somebody it kicks in when you hit somebody with another status it resets the the the, the six second timer it just keeps resetting every time you land status it keeps kicking in but when that six seconds is over they still inflict it with status and this is the part where i like with saren being the most is that her status effects last longer, so it stays on them, and then they die, and you can rinse and recycle, keep doing it over and over. Alright? So, that's growing power. Next one I'm going to be talking about is Brief Respite. Now, this aura mod, when you cast an ability, it grants shields equal to 150% of the energy spent while over shields are inactive. So, when you have Overshield inactive, this will not kick in. Now, here's the funny thing with this mod. Is that, as it says right there, casting an ability grants shields equal to 150% of the energy spent. Now, you gotta use energy to get your shields back. When you have efficiency mods... You know what power efficiency does. You get to use less energy to cast your abilities. When you don't have 
fleeting expertise or streamline on you this mod will benefit so much more because again you're using more energy to get back your shields so again you got to use energy to get back your shields if you have fleeting expertise or streamline you're using less energy to get less of your shields so again in order to get full benefit of this take away your efficiency mods then this mod will become more useful to you now let's go to that mod that I said that I like so much and that is stand united this mod gives you 25.5 percent armor so when you think of armor what warframes come to your mind you think of Valkyrie you think of frost you think of chroma you could even throw Obron in there even though his his armor ain't the greatest but at the same time he has decent armor Saren Rhino any Warframe that has decent to good armor, they will, they will like this mod so much. I have it on my Chroma. He's a flat out beast being, you know, I have him as an ice tank now using him more. This mod works with Chroma so well. You could slap it on a Valkyr as well with all that armor on her. And at the same time slap this on. It's like so much armor. Freaking awesome. This mod is amazing for Warframes when you want to stack the armor. Now, the other mod that I'm going to be talking about also, Shotgun Amp, this is pretty standard, straightforward, you know, shotgun damage increased, you know, 18% damage, you stack that, is a flat out monster, and at the same time, if you have a Tigris, you know, enough said, you adding more damage on a shotgun, like, I mean, come on, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of damage, again, especially when you have the Tigris, or the Vacor Heck, you know, Boar Prime, whatever shotgun, even the Dragoon. You know, so that is just flat out monsterness right there. The next one I'm going to be talking about again, Pistol Amp. You know, straightforward, just like with the Shotgun Amp. I mean, you know, pistol damage increased about 27%. You stack that with other squad mates, your damage will be over 100%. So practically what I'm saying is 102% to be exact. If everyone runs pistol lamp, so this mod good also. You know, if people like to use their secondaries, put that on as your uh, your aura. You're good to go. Keep using the secondaries. Everybody will just get that damage, <laughs> just craziness. Now, last but not least, you have empowered blades. Now, as far as with empowered blades. You know, I could just max this out right here, right now, just to show you guys what it's all about. As it being max rank. So let me just do that right quick. Alright. Alright, so now that it's maxed out. The charge attacks get 60% status chance and status damage, but you drain 90% of your shields per hit. So... You could take this mod as like a, the negative side of this because when you do a status proc you increase power strength but in this case when you land a status chance and get a charge attack in and you land that status chance and the status damage yeah they're proc'd with status but at the same time your shield takes a hit so that's like the other bad side to it your shield takes a hit but at the same time, now that I think about it, if someone have brief respite and whatnot, you could just cast your ability to get your shield back. And then you could just keep landing that blow even though you lose your shield, get the status in, and then this will kick in when you hit them with your ability. So again, these two, brief respite and powered blades, you could see them go hand in hand if you got two squad mates that are rocking this. Stack that 150, you get 300%. And then at the same time, you stack this two people, 60, 60. You get that, you know, 120 status chance and status damage. But, you know, your, your, your shields will take a hit. So, again, these two work together. I like to say, you know, you could work these two together. It could work. But only if the other guys have that, that, that combo of a mod. Because, again... Some people don't have this. Some people don't have this. Same thing with Stand United, Growing Power, Pistol Amp, Shotgun Amp. 
there are a lot of people that still don't have these mods. They may have one, but they don't have the other. Seeing as though these two can work together, I could see that. But, you know, if some people, they'll be like, oh, you, yo, we could just do Stand United. All of us have Stand United on, have that armor. Another person will be like, man, I don't got that Stand United. Well, there goes that 100% that armor increase. Like, man, we could have had 100%, but, you know, 75 ain't bad, but you want to have that 100% armor for everybody. You know, so these mods are worth getting. And at the same time, like I said, if you have a good squad, you could put the mods together. You know, growing power with the status proc in. You could get status proc in and you could also put two squad mates with you could have the armor. And you could also have status kicking in. And so you could get the power strength. I mean, I could see these mods, you know, these aura mods working together. Same thing with pistol amp and shotgun. Two people with shotgun amp, two people with pistol. So again, you got a good balance there of secondary and primary working together. So I see these mods worth getting. And at the same time, if you just put them together, like have two, two aura mods and you have the other two, you know, it, it actually, it, it can actually work. So I'm actually liking these mods. But at the same time, you got to reconfigure your Warframe so that these mods can go in. For my Saren, I got to change the aura slot so that I could put whatever whatever aura I could put on her. I could put on Empower Blades, you know, Growing Power, Stand United, you know, Brief Respite, Pistol, Shotgun. I could put whatever on, on them and it will, it will be fine. I'm not compromising my build. So, as far as with these mods, they're worth getting. You could build a team, have a team with you, go together with it. It's fine. I actually like these these aura mods, and it makes the game that more interesting to see Stand United combined with Growing Power or Empowered Blades going in with with a couple people using Brief Respite. I mean, there's so many possibilities, so many combos that you can do with it. You know, you could have the shotgun amp, but then someone could just have, you know, brief respite. Like, okay, I could get back my shields, but, you know, my shotgun action just keep killing them, like, straight up. So, again, it's a, it's a nice mix that you could do with these, with these aura mods, these six aura mods. So, I'm actually liking it. So, as far as with all of them... Is like, you know, are they worth getting? Yes, they are worth getting. And at the same time, if you get multiple, you could sell them in the trade chat. I think some of them are going for like at least 25, 30 plat. Because again, empowered blades and growing power, some people still don't have it. You know, they've been farming those specters. They just ain't dropping them. You know, you'll get crimson dervishes and high noons, you know, final harbinger. I mean, those are not crappy mods, but again, those are not the mods you're looking for. So, again, it's, it's, it's worth getting. It's not something you could just sneeze at and forget about. Because, again, having that armor buff, having that damage increase for your shotgun or your, or your pistol, you know, it, it, it has some use. And at the same time, you could do damage with it. So, these mods, they're awesome. These aura mods.